to another video welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome and please do subscribe as it would mean the world to me i had quite a lot of new subscribers over the past few days so hello to all of you as well and welcome welcome here so today's video is just going to be a video that has been very requested over since like, I've started really, which always sort of surprises me as I'm only a small YouTuber at the moment and yeah, so a lot of girls that are starting out normally message me saying like what are the requirements, um, what do you use to edit your videos, so I just wanted this video to be a bit informative for those girls and if anyone asks me again I could just share this video and give them as much help as possible. So first of all I'm going to just go over the requirements to get monetized. So the requirements to get monetized and monetized is when you can then put ads in your videos. So that is when you can start earning money from YouTube and like when it happens it feels such a good like it's such an achievement and even though you don't earn a lot at all but it's it is an achievement. So as I said the requirements are you need a thousand subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours. So I started in January 2020 and I gained my, I got monetized, I'm gonna have to check the date. So seven weeks ago, so I started in January 2020 and seven weeks ago from the date of this video, I then hit 1,000 subscribers. I hit the 1,000 subscribers before I hit the watch hours and then my watch hours done really well my watch hours then done really well over the next few weeks and i then gained my 4,000 watch hours i then got monetized on youtube i would say i got there i think i think i got there fairly quick for a new channel obviously some people come onto youtube and they get loads of luck and work really hard with it as well and they gain all these subscribers really quickly i think to have another say platform so I had my Instagram platform social media account which I had I grew that at the same time as growing my YouTube channel so I think that really helps with gaining subscribers because if you plug yourself over there people are more than likely to come over to your YouTube channel and watch your videos Another tip with that, I would say to be active on social media every single day. I post daily and I post on my stories daily as well and frequently on my stories. I like to do this because I think the people that are on my Instagram platform, I really like to build a relationship with these people. I'm constantly messaging people, like when they message me, I always reply, always reply to all my comments because I just think this builds um, a relationship with the people that are essentially watching all my videos. I absolutely love the friendship I've formed with these girls and even boys. I just think they're such lovely people and it mean, it honestly does mean the world to me that they watch my videos, like my pictures. Another question I always get asked really frequently is what editing software I use, what do I use to do my thumbnails, etc, etc. So the editing software I use is just basic and it's iMovie. And iMovie you can get on any Apple software. So you can get it on your iPhone, you can get it on your laptops or your computers. I actually have a iMac computer. I actually started out editing my videos. My first I think five or six videos was I think even maybe more than that was all done from my old iPhone, I think it was like an iPhone 5 and i done them all from there but the I would have carried on doing that as well as I didn't want to just jump in to get in the computer but the only reason I had to do that was because the storage on my phone it just wouldn't hack it. So the camera I use to vlog is the Canon G7X mark 2 i've had very mixed reviews on the mark 3 and everyone always seems to rave about this camera so yeah that is the camera i use i also use different lighting to what i see a lot of people using and it's more of like a square lighting what i'll do is i'll link i'll link everything below that i use but i'll link the lighting down below i got it on ebay i got two of the lights and i think those were about 50 pounds 
also come with a tripod for each light so sometimes I only need to use the one light so then I have a spare tripod for my camera. With lighting as well I do try to use daytime lighting as much as possible like today I am in my bedroom and I'm sitting right in front of a window because I just think sometimes daytime lighting can be more flattering than artificial lighting. I would say one of the main tips that to grow like subscribers is to just be engaged with your audience so always like reply to your comments on your YouTube videos always reply to comments on your Instagram your Facebook your blog whatever you post and share just always sort of interact with people watching because I think what you've got to remember is these people are taking 30 minutes well 15 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes even an hour some youtubers do do vlogs that long and they're taking that time out of their day to watch your video so then for them to actually comment on your video that is them taking time out of their day so I always love to reply obviously when I was to get if I was to get big and um, gain a lot a lot of subscribers I think that would be hard to reply to all the comments I'd love to be able to but yeah I guess it is hard when there are YouTubers out there that get so many comments to actually reply to them all. I think I will always try to reply to all the comments and I think I'll always try to read them all as well because they always make me feel so happy. Videos that have been popular for me have been hauls, my Primark haul and my Zara haul I've done. They have been my most popular videos. So yeah if you're in this sort of if you love doing that sort of thing in that beauty lifestyle I recommend to do some hauls because everybody loves to watch a haul. Tips for editing your YouTube videos I would say to just YouTube them I know it sounds really silly but I would definitely say to YouTube them if there's something I don't know then I'll YouTube something I'm normally sitting on my computer getting quite stressed out like I can't do that how do they do this and then Ross will normally put like a YouTube video on for me and it's really simple to pick things up, especially on iMovie. I think it's such a simple software. I got the grips with it for within like a few days. But even now you start getting quicker at doing it and it's much easier to get the hang of after a while of using it. Next thing I get asked quite frequently as well from girls and boys that start on YouTube is how I do my thumbnails. And I actually started doing them on an app on my phone called Pit Collage and it there wasn't like the right measurements I don't think but I always worked it out somewhere or another. I've now started actually using an app called Canva. I will just double check. Yeah, an app called Canva. And that is really good. It's a free app. You can pay for the um, subscription and I think that you that gives you like so many more templates but at the moment the free version is working really well for me so I've been doing I've been really enjoying that I'd say with thumbnails to so just really think about them sometimes there's times I actually forget to even do a thumbnail picture and you sort of have to make do but if it's like a haul I'd say to try and really think about the thumbnail because that is the thing that is going to make people click on your video the next thing I wanted to talk about is like planning content. So I try to plan my videos weeks and weeks in advance. I've actually got like a list of videos that I will be planning to get through. So I always do three videos a week. So I upload on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Sunday. And I actually chose those days because it's more convenient for me. And it suits my sort of lifestyle to film on certain days and to edit on others or to film and edit the same day and those days seem to work quite well for my videos too. So because I upload three times a week I like to always do a vlog because I absolutely love vlogging. It's like documenting my life, my little girl's life, my partner. So it's documenting our little family life together which I always want to still do. So I'm always going to put one of them out at least a week and they normally go out on a Sunday. On a Tuesday I normally like to do a haul, either a Tuesday or a Thursday but mainly a Tuesday I like to do a haul and on a Thursday I will do like a 
sit down video something like this that you'll be seeing today and it will be a Thursday when you see this or maybe like a fun video with my partner or yeah like a chatty video I like to upload that day so I think having a bit of a routine across your videos really helps when you're thinking about planning them so like next week I know that I've gonna have a haul go out I know I'm gonna have a sit down video or like a routine video and then I've got my vlog I think it's easier to film definitely like that as well because in your mind you sort of know how it's all gonna go yeah so that is all I can actually think about that I need to cover on this video it was more really that I just wanted to tell you all about getting monetized and thank you all so much for making that possible for me it I know I say it all the time but it honestly means the world to me it's just sort of making my dream a little reality so thank you all so much for watching if you are new again please do subscribe as that helps massively for my channel and follow me over on my instagram page i'll put my name here now I'm active on there every single day like I said on my stories and you'll probably see a bit more of an insight to my life on there obviously with the vlogs as well but you'll see like my more day-to-day -day life so again thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye I know you've heard it all before but you are the love of my life Through the door that you are the love of my life